Next question. Hey, can you give us a little info on how to get into racing? A, look at what kind of regional racing is around you. All right. What events exist around you? Are they offshore? Are they closed course? Are they stand up? Are they sit down? Are they mixed? Are they aquacross? Are they uh, pro watercross? Is it a local event? Is it a regional event? Is it national? Just get a good idea of what's close to you. All right. Number one. Number two, take an honest assessment of how good of a rider you are and what kind of ski you're going to be racing, all right? If you own a Spark or an EX, you obviously can't get into the pro, you know, pro-am pro runabout class with a 60-horsepower Spark. You're going to have to find what, what class your watercraft belongs in, okay? Then, the easy part. Get good at riding. Get good. You find a if you got a, a small body of water and some friends, put out some buoys. If you don't know where to find buoys, go to Target and buy a bunch of those hippity hops. You know those balls with the little round handles that you used to bounce around on your butt with your you know when you were like five. Buy a bunch of those and some nylon rope and some old dumbbells and put out those as buoys. All right. If you can't afford those, you're totally piss poor. A don't get into jet ski race. B, get a bunch of milk cartons, you know, or white Tropicana orange juice bottles. Screw the top on it, tie a rope around the handle and do that. Just as long as it's visible. Then clean up your mess when you're done. When you're done, round up all your booze, put them in your truck and go home. But start getting good. No, uh, let's see, that'd be three. So four. Number four is make sure you have the right safety equipment that's required for your class. So if your class says you need to have a full wetsuit or a, at least a John, which means, you know, sleeveless, but long legs, you know, full legs, get the right riding gear, get an approved life vest, probably get a set of gloves. They usually recommend that you recommend or, or even require that you have gloves. All right. If you need a liat brace or a neck brace, make sure you get the right neck brace, get a DOT helmet. You have to have an approved motocross style helmet, not a full face bell motorcycle helmet but a motocross helmet and not a small bmx bike helmet either you want a dot motocross helmet do you need to tune up the skis or can you race stock it depends on what class you're in there are box stock watercraft classes i mean box stock there are some stock tune classes that let you put sponsons and a ride plate on you just got to find what class so um, um, but regarding your ski, you need to take an honest assessment of what kind of ski you got and your riding skill. Go in an amateur. If you're asking me, you're amateur. All right. If you're older, you're still amateur. You're not veterans. All right. You, you need to, you need to look at the classes. You need to look at the rule book. Look at what the rules say. You don't want to be disqualified. You don't want to have to go through tech inspection. Look at what you're racing, where, number one, regional. Number two, um, what kind of class you want to race. Number three, get good at riding. Number four, riding gear, equipment, equip your ski, equip you. Um, and number five is make sure your pit situation is dialed. All right. If it's you and a buddy, and you're in your Toyota pickup truck with a single place trailer, you can't launch it with your Toyota truck. You're going to need something, either a a side-by-side, a, -side, a quad, uh, something with a trailer hitch to, to launch that ski. They are not going to have you dropping your truck in there at a, at a pro watercross event. Okay. Um, you're going to have to launch using what they require. And you're going to have to ask. Now, if you're on a stand-up, you can use a cart. You can use an aqua cart. You can use a jet lift. You can use a bunch of different other stuff. But again, it all depends on what class you're racing, and it depends on the venue and whose event you're racing. It just depends. So um, then you're going to want a tent, you know, an easy up. You're going to want, you know, a place to sit. You're going to want a cooler. You're going to want to be equipped. So there's that. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast 
that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.